Washington could have been prevented. My next guest says the warning signs were there even before the first attack on the World Trade Center back in 1993. Peter Lance is the author of 1,000 Years of Revenge, International Terrorism, and the FBI. He joins us tonight. Welcome. Good to be here. You mainly believe September 11, 2001 could have been prevented. Well, we... Drew a direct link between Ramsey Yusuf, the first World Trade Center bomber, and 9-11. We went to the Philippines. We talked to the chief interrogator of Abdul Murad, who was Yusuf's partner. And he basically told us that he confessed to a plot in 1994, 95. We had six targets. Ten men were training in U.S. flight schools at the time. And this information was given to the FBI. So then I went, well, if Yusuf was the architect of 9-11, which, by the way, his uncle, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, executed, could we have stopped him in 1992? Could the FBI? I have stopped him. Then I brought the story back then as far as 1989, and unequivocally, in my opinion, the FBI dropped the ball not just once, but dozens of times that could have stopped Ramzi Yusuf before he set the World Trade Center bomb in 93. Ergo, since he was the architect of 9-11, 9-11 could have been prevented. But the defense you often hear about people from the FBI is that you couldn't connect the dots at that point. There were, You're saying the FBI bundled this completely. I'm saying that uh, we did a timeline in my book which has 160 sections so that the average person could look at this and judge for themselves. And uh, there are dozens of opportunities. In 1989, Paula, they had... Uh, a number of Middle Eastern men under surveillance. They were at a shooting range in Long Island. In 1989, of those men under surveillance, three were later convicted in the Trade Center bombing. One killed Rabbi Amara Kahani. Two were involved in the plot to blow up the bridges and tunnels around Manhattan. And one, nine years later, planned the African Embassy bombing, in which 234 people died. So this is 1989. They've got them on the radar. 1998, August. And they, so what is your explanation for why nothing happened? combination of things, but arrogance is at the heart of it. It's, it was the disbelief that these um, men of Arab abstract, uh, who they considered a loosely organized group, could ever pull this off. That was point number one. Second point was that the Justice Department and the FBI treated this like a series of legal cases. Each time they won a case, they went, the danger is diminished. The threat is, you know, contradicted the threat. In fact, the, they didn't look at it as a worldwide global conspiracy, which is where it was. Look at tonight, look at the headlines tonight about bin Laden increased threat to America from Al-Qaeda. The FBI, since 9-11, has declared bin Laden dead, a senior spokesman, several times, and they've, they've said they've broken the back of Al-Qaeda several times, yet right after the invasion of Iraq, you had the bombs of Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Al-Qaeda is as strong today as it was prior to 9-11. But it's, it's, it's quickly as you can delineate, once again, connect those dots from the late 80s, to the first World Trade Center bombing, to what happened in September of 2001. What, what are we missing here? Because we all listened to a lot of testimony, and we heard George Tenet get up, we heard a number of government officials who said, you know, in hindsight, you might be able to connect these dots, but if you analyze the same intelligence we did, you, you, how, how could anyone predict that, that, that they were going to take, use jets as a bomb and slam them in the door? Colonel Mendoza, who I interviewed, with the help, by the way, of Maria Reza of CNN, one of the great reporters who had this story September 18th for the first time. She had the first one to break this story was your bureau chief of Manila, a great reporter. Uh, she, she and I interviewed Colonel Mendoza at length. He said he had six targets in 94. Yusuf had chosen 10 Islamic pilots. The plot was well in motion in 1994. He gave it to the FBI essentially in the spring of 1995. The problem was the Bureau then, they, they captured Yusuf, they had him for World Trade One. they had him for the Bojinka plot, and no one wanted to go looking for the second gunman on the grass. No, they thought they'd contain the threat. Before we let you go, we do have not have a direct reaction from the FBI to what you allege in this book that you heard from the FBI. Only through the New York Daily News today, where they called my book a rehash of old stories. Uh, and, you know, the FBI has to face the fact that they made massive mistakes. Uh, perhaps the, my, my title of my book, the subtitle is Who is Guarding the Guardians Themselves. Perhaps the people on Capitol Hill will take some of this seriously and change will come. Right now, I perceive America to be at grave risk.